What are we making? We're making frozen inspired popcorn balls. Yes, we are making these frozen popcorn balls or snowballs. That's what we keep calling them. Yep. <laughs> which I think is very fitting for this time of year. I think January is a perfect time to make these frozen popcorn balls because it's so chilly outside. Yes. And January is always a time that like things kind of die down and there's not so many exciting things going on. So it's a perfect time to make these. We're super excited to show you how to make them. Yes. So let's get started. These are the supplies you're going to need for your frozen popcorn balls. You are gonna need four to five cups of popped popcorn, five cups of marshmallows, and four tablespoons of butter. Good job. And if you want this to be a little more salty, you can always add like a dash of salt. Because yeah. sometimes I like the sweet and salty combo, especially if you're going to add fun decorations like we are. We're going to be using these rock candies. I think these are perfect for frozen because they look like little crystals. Yeah, like Elsa's crystals. They do. And they're really yummy, huh? Yeah. yeah. We're going to be using these super fun blue and white snowflake sprinkles and some blue sprinkles. And again, these are all optional. You can use all of them. You can just use their rock candies or just the snowflakes or just the sprinkles. Or you don't have to use any, but then they won't really look like They'll just be stuff. popcorn balls. They'll just be popcorn balls, but that's okay. Then we're going to use our wax paper to lay our popcorn balls on to let them harden. So we are going to get started by putting our snowballs together. Snowballs, I keep calling them snowballs our popcorn <laughs> balls. So we're going to make these very similar to how you make Rice Krispie treats. I'm going to start by melting down the butter, then I'm going to add the marshmallows, and then lastly, the popcorn, and we'll mix it all together, and then we'll decorate them. So right now I'm going to go over and melt the butter and the marshmallows down. Just on the stove, I'm gonna put it on medium heat and melt everything down, and then I'll bring it over and we'll add the popcorn. Sound good? Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds delicious. Right. Our butter and our marshmallows are all melted down and they look so yummy and so marshmallowy. Okay, Bailey, so will you slowly start adding the popcorn in and I'll stir it. So we're just making sure to coat all of the popcorn with the marshmallows and the butter. Okay, keep going. Keep going. Take it off. <laughs> Every last morsel of popcorn. Okay, we're going to add just a little more popcorn. So in total, we will use about five and a half cups of popcorn. So it just depends on if you want it more popcorny or if you want it just so marshmallowy. That that is good too. I mean, this is still going to be like super super marshmallowy. Yeah. Okay, Bailey. While I am mixing this around, do you want to get a piece of the wax paper and put it right there? How does that look, Bray? Delicious. What do you think? So I have a question. Would we add the sprinkles in right now? So. Yes, that's a good question. So you could do that right now if you want all of the popcorn balls to be the same. If you want to kind of change it up, if you're doing this as an activity with your kids or you want each popcorn ball to be different, you're going to want to make the popcorn ball and then you can like sprinkle it in and then form it. So we're going to let this cool for just a second so that it's not too hot for our hands, but you want to work with it while it's still warm enough that you'll be able to form the balls. Yeah, so it doesn't freeze and yeah. wiggle off. And something you want to do is get your hands wet. It's going to help it so that this sticky marshmallow doesn't stick to your hands. Okay. I want to keep these snowballs or popcorn balls pretty small. And then once it's formed, I have those blue sprinkles. So I'm just going to grab some white, some white here. snowflakes. So I have blue sprinkles and white snowflakes. Oh, the winter wonderland. I love these little snowflakes. As soon as I saw them, I was like, we have to do something frozen. Yeah. Cute, Bray. Right? Oh, I love it. I am going to add some of these little rocks. And if you're going to be putting like hard things like these little rocks or the snowflakes, make sure that whoever is eating them knows so that they don't go to like bite down on popcorn and crunch down into something hard. <laughs> That is it for our frozen inspired popcorn balls. I think that they turned out so delicious. Yes. And perfect and so fun. The recipe made about 12 good sized popcorn balls. 
So if you have any parties or any fun things coming up, be sure to make these. Or if you're like us and we just kind of get a little blue this time of year, it's really cold, we're always looking for something fun to do. These are super fun and easy to make. We would love to know if you would try them, so please send us pictures to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.